All right, what's up, guys? I'm just rubbing my eye because for some reason it looks now it looks like I'm a pirate. But uh, yeah, so uh, segundo día yo aprendo español uh, muy bueno. Um, yo yo estoy en la clase por gramáticos y vocabularios uh, por tres horas y por una hora yo practico mi pronunciación y uh, por otra una hora, una hora yo uh, review mi vocabulario. Um, sí, muy, muy bueno. Mi, uh, my teachers say that I'm, I've been uh, I'm really good right now. I'm already fairly fluent in speaking and they think that I should actually skip some of the lessons, but I'm not. Sh I don't think I want to do that because I want to make sure I get, like, get all the building blocks down. So later on, I'm not hitting some sort of mistake. I can just kind of mess up my Spanish. Uh, I've also started just approaching people on the streets. I should probably get some videos out for that soon. Uh, I think that those could be pretty interesting and uh, approaching people and. Um, putting together Spanish and I can already articulate some of my ideas. I can already uh, like, I don't I don't get the grammar correct, but I can say it enough times to get the other person to understand what I'm saying and that is actually what I'm aiming for right now. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I would say today I was learning a couple different things. Uh, pronouns, just adding an S to the end of the verbs or uh, and of the nouns, so uh, instead of like la hamburguesa, las hamburguesas, uh, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, another thing I learned today were adjectives, and the only difference between adjectives in English and adjectives in Spanish is mainly the placement. So when we say, when we, when we use an adjective in English, I'll say the cold cup. So in Spanish, you actually reverse the placement. So la taza frío. So that means cup cold, the cup cold. But uh, so that's the only kind of difference in Spanish. Uh, another grammar thing I learned today, grammar concept I learned today was uh, the present progressive. So it's when, when you're say, when I'm say I'm working right now, I say I am working. Instead of saying I, like I say yo, so, yo estoy, Trabajar, not just say I am work. That is, that's like, it makes sense, but you don't, the grammar is not correct. But instead of that, I can use present progressive and say, Yo estoy trabajando. I am working. So uh, I think that that's really useful. I think uh, uh, my teacher also taught me a little bit of a uh, past tense. Yo estaba traba, trabajar. I, I, was work, yo estaba trabajando. I think it's I was working, I'd have to confirm with my teacher. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy with my progress today. I think uh, I should, uh, this is just a vlog, so this is just my, I'm in a phone booth because I, I am talking a lot and I'm practicing pronunciation and uh, I don't wanna disturb everybody else in their co-working space. And uh, yeah, I've, this is uh, probably one of the most fun projects I've had so far. I think I've loved, uh, I love learning and having the, the skill force me to interact with people because this is like a very intellectual, mentally intensive skill, but it also forces me to, gives me an excuse to have conversations with just people outside interacting with natives. Uh, today I even talked to a girl that was, I didn't speak English and I was able to articulate myself and um, like she understood what I was trying to say. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll get some videos for you guys on that tomorrow. And uh, all right, peace out.